You know what? Uh, let's uh, start the recording. So we can just. I already started. So. Okay. Do you want to talk about the virtual assistants? Is that what you want to cover today, or? Oh yeah, actually, it would be a good idea to go over this. So I had a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of uh, pushback, basically, from the people uh, who is actually was thinking that it should have been included. Got it. And I think it's not. <laughs> yeah, I think it's nuts too. But I like the idea of uh, you know, hey, you want to use extra people. Uh, extra yeah. seats, you know, or extra, it's kind of like seats, isn't it? it exactly. So I, I even call them seats because, yeah, it's a virtual assistant seat. So okay. uh, we can go over this quickly. So I, I just get this to under that people can understand what is it and why we're doing it. Right. And uh, well, how it's benefit them, basically, right? They want to know what's the benefit for them. Okay. But of well, course. Yeah, the, they still have to pay for it, so that may be uh, <laughs> yeah. dilute their... Unfortunately, yes. That okay. Now let's talk about the how all the SaaS, basically software as a service, how they are surviving. Let's talk about this. And by the way, yeah, yeah. By the way, t this morning I had uh, the podcast on uh, one of the European, uh, the, one of the podcasts in Europe was invited oh, me. Oh wow! <laughs> to talk to do the talk. So, and I kind of interesting. So I brought up the culture thing, right? Saying, right. okay, we, uh, uh, what's the culture and of the people on the uh, app Suma, uh, talking about the last time deals, how they all, everybody feels about it. So basically I could say I'm on the both sides. I've been on the both sides. I'm a right. app Suma big time user myself. I love all the apps and uh, Mickey, Mickey, get off, get off there. Get in, get in, get in there. Mickey, get in. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. That's okay. <laughs> so he just we're not going to be wandering around here. So and I constantly. Well, my cat is wandering around, so she may. Uh, actually, you couldn't see her unless she jumped from yeah, like time, here over. Time, yeah. Next time you're gonna plan you introduce her here. Okay. <laughs> oh, where she is now. Is it the cat? I have tiny, tiny animals now. After. Many years of uh, Irish wolfhounds. Oh, oh, that's nice. They are it's a big finest, one. finest dogs I've ever owned. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. My uh, my my wife's brother. So uh, he's uh, like had a huge, huge dog. I mean, really like like a horse. I mean, it's really size. Of... <laughs> Used to. <laughs> so it's a black black terrier. I think it's a, it was a, some. Russian Terrier, so some, some like oh, neat. It's, it's it huge. I mean, it's little, literally like a small horse, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, and but, that's what the Irish Wolfhounds. I mean, the the lead or the leash we used for Irish Wolfhounds was a lead rope for a horse. I mean, yeah. and you could take them and run them. Uh, like my daughter and I both used to ride, yeah. and so we would lunge them. It was where you hook the bridle on and you just let them run in circles. And you nice. can do the same thing with the wolfhounds. Nice. You know? I hope it's not the opposite. So they, you don't run around them. No, no, no. no. It, <laughs> you could never let a wolfhound off the leash unless it was in a fenced area because all the breeders said, you know what? These dogs are bred to hunt. And it happened, doesn't matter how well they're trained. If they see something, they can be gone. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. had to chase them down three times. It was not fun. <laughs> uh, I tell you. Uh, uh, every dog, just like a people, they have own personality. So yeah, they do. Yeah, they, like, <laughs> hey, just like also the small society of Absuma uh, Lynx, right? They have own traits, yeah. and yeah. So well, it'd be interesting too, you know, to talk to. Like I remember software as a service. We were looking at it. Lord, when was this? This was. In the late 90s and i went to a couple of conferences uh -huh. working for the electric co-ops in north carolina and we were looking for a billing system provided sas just software as service yeah. and they added the a it, it probably sas who makes the uh statistical analysis software probably said you know what we don't like you using that because that's us so they threw in the, the you know another A <laughs> to prevent legal <laughs> difficulties. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting because it has taken a while for me to come to like having software as a service. I was I started out with the very first, you know, an Apple IIe and then a Windows 95 or whatever hey, the heck don't, the first... don't, don't go there. Let's not go there. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm used to everything being on the computer. Yeah. Uh, now I like this stuff on the cloud. It is so slick. Yeah, just amazing. Yeah, uh, well, yeah, does... Um... What? Uh, I forgot to turn on my timer. <laughs> All right. That's okay. We yeah, were okay. waxing eloquent here, so... Uh... <laughs> Where did it go? Where did you go? And I was going to do it, and the cat distracted me. So, <laughs> oh, there's Mickey. Mickey, don't go, buddy. All right, no, he's gonna lean down. But if you wonder, you're gonna get back. Okay, so <laughs> who knows that? All right, that's going. <laughs> uh, yeah. Cool. So basically, um, if we say, if I say in a few words, there is a i've seen so many uh SaaS falling out of the business just because uh, they went in too much into ltds and structure a business on ltds right while you're running the servers day in day out is not a good idea if right. i if i if i sell software like okay windows software or you just buy it one time forget about so you just work with that as much as you want i don't need to get involved that's different but we support always so all we have developers we need support we have to run the servers and to make sure everything clicking everything working i'm paying bills i'm paying this but you got i gotta survive i gotta bring the income every month i mean yep. why they would expect that i don't have to make an income well, let's just sell it off and just like support all my life have you seen a plumber saying okay lifetime deal for plumber i pay the 500 bucks okay i'm walk away that's it. Dude. All life, I mean, my my toilet is backed up. Okay, come over, just fix it. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, well, if you find one of those deals in uh, here in Minnesota, I'll, hey, I want to know. I want to let me up. know. Yeah. I'll buy uh, ten colds right away <laughs> <laughs> and keep reselling them. You know. <laughs> hmm. Well, that whole thing with reselling codes. That when you told me about that the other day, it was like, oh, that just rubs me wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, hey, it's, know, okay. So, I mean, what can you do about it? I mean, that's the facts of life. But so, let's talk about the, if you're talking about reselling a course, okay? Right. So there are huge communities. I mean, big communities on the Facebook, and the Facebook is trading the the, the buy sell codes. I mean, lifetime deal, past lifetime deal. I guess it's okay. I mean, that's okay. You sold it. Okay, code is a code. That's fine. But uh, there are so you understand. It's like a stock market. So you go to the stock so. market, yeah. you buy, sell, trade, but it's not sold as a discount. Usually you have the little for they sold it for sell it for profit. So right. uh, of course there's something that they cannot hold for too long, just like a stock market it goes up and down. They all right. oh okay, is a value goes up, let me sell it much higher, you know. But <laughs> I get it. I get it. <laughs> Uh, it's a, it's kind of a business there on the on the a lifetime deals. It's a totally niche by its, by its own. Yeah, right? I guess that makes sense. I mean, yeah. first time I heard it, it was like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it didn't it didn't <laughs> set well. But to hear you say it that way, yeah, you know, as long as it's not being copied and yeah. duplicated and that sort of yeah, thing, no, which is so an advantage of SaaS. I consider this as investment. You made an investment, fine. Okay, you can do whatever you want if you want to sell it. But as long as you don't just like copying and reselling and reselling that, but you cannot really do that in this case. But as long as you sell your own, that's fine. But now, right. uh, the, another thing is, it shouldn't be also that uh, some people, I mean, some SAS are really protecting it. They say, no, no, if, and if they put the strict re in reinforcement saying, if they catch you that you trying to change ownership and uh, they can ban the account. So it's understandable. That's also their right. Whatever they think, like if they say, if it is a part of the deal, say, I don't want my software being resold. So resell for resale. If you just buy it, you buy it for your own needs, but it's, you cannot really resell. It's, right. it's it's also the part of the deal, kind of not giving sure. specify it up front, which uh, probably makes sense, right? I don't want to also right. like be in my uh, codes being traded left and right. So for that, I just okay. If you wanna you wanna uh, I mean you use it yourself, use it. But if you don't want to use it, I don't want to be reselling this and especially try to make money on me because of that. 
uh, kind of doesn't see that well, but yeah, as a, but as uh, long as as long as like not copied, though, right? I mean, but you can well, and see copy. that's kind of interesting uh, when you get to like I have been a, a Microsoft Action Pack subscriber for many years. It, it doesn't uh, it may exist now. I I was doing some little software support services and stuff, and so I had these things. And you actually bought well here. Where is it? Ah, hang on. Oh, I made a mess. They used to send these notebooks full of software. Are you still keeping it? Uh, I still have it. Uh, the software is ancient. <laughs> I just made a mess. Hey, maybe you can resell them. Oh, uh, yeah, probably to some place in uh, Mongolia like where they're still five running. Cent, five cents each. <laughs> Windows 95. <laughs> Yeah, but that's but, the, that's where the know, difference coming in. You are you let's say you buying uh, say like CD on uh, which is okay one time deal. You get in, you use your own resources, run the app, and another one okay we're supporting it. We are running the server, which is a uh, freaking expensive. You know, yes, you're talking, I'm paying like thousands of, over a thousand of dollars on the so on the server, and I uh, come on, I make keep it in server. I made in the server for uh, G, the, the GPU server, which is required for the AI driven uh, AI driven requires I gotta have a GPU server. The GPU server cost about eight times, ten times more. Woof. Oh. I'm sorry, okay. But of course I'm not gonna be like uh, a thousands, but with the time, yeah it's gonna be thousands. So why do you wanna give it for free? Okay, you, you tell me. Somebody has okay you give it for free. Are you giving for free the AI AI? Okay, give them for free. I'm not giving for free. I'm sorry. This is uh, <laughs> I cannot do it. Okay, you want me to buy a server and okay, support you now? I you pay fifty bucks and walk away and say, okay, I'm gonna run all my life. All right, I'm sorry. This is not gonna be for free. Uh, the server AI is not gonna be for free, and I don't know how the phrase did it. You know, phrase yep. allowed to have this what uh, unlimited uh, searches, right? Just remember, just one thing I can tell you: every time you run that the AI, it costs money. It's right. literally cost money. So imagine now somebody, you put the monkey behind the computer and let's start <laughs> pushing the button. Oh, yep. you say you're running this. I can tell you that this, uh, uh, I mean, this is uh, on the, for the phrase. I don't know how they do it. Okay, you put in them, uh, you set up the little code there, which we're going to be keep running the, the same. You can put them out of business. Seriously. Yeah. Yeah. Unless That's they put wild. some stops. Oh, me. Well, the monkey would get all the royalties. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So, but I guess. So the the uh, people of uh, uh, Sumalink they need to be reasonable and understand that I need to run the business I need to run support the services so and I'm sorry I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give away the multi seats uh, 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 the extra users for for free well you it's can't in, it's and impossible I mean, and so if somebody buys the product with a serious intent of using it their benefit is going to be from you being there, improving it and supporting it and running exactly. it for years. But they just don't know. They can burn a burn. A, uh, it's like, you know, like we have a saying that, you know, so, you know like a, like a uh, expression that you cut in on you, you get on the high tree, you on the branch, you sit in top high, you get the, the hand saw and you start cutting the branch, the one that you sit in. So, no. <laughs> <fall down>, you <laughs> <No. laughs> Yeah, that's um, right. So, uh, but anyway, I am that comes uh, in a large part because people don't understand yeah. business or economics or something. You know, this is not their thing. And it's unfortunately not taught that much in schools, at least in the U.S. I mean, you have to wait to get to high school or college before you really get into that. But um, yeah, but remember, I have uh, whether U.S., non-U.S., I tell you, when I look in the list right now, I have uh, uh, 200 plus countries who bought the codes. Wow. So 200 plus. You can imagine. It's a uh, U.S., Canada, and everybody else, say India, the Bangladesh, Pakistan, uh, everywhere. So Europe, Eastern Europe, Indonesia, everywhere. Well, so, that's amazing. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah. What the power of Epsuma, they have the whole around the world. And I'm looking, I'm talking to people from all the possible uh, places on Earth. It's kind of, it's really neat. It's really neat. But yeah, that's amazing. Majority of people really understand it. I mean, they, they yeah. do get it. So you're running a business, I'm running a business. I get you. You got to make some money. But some people are say, hey, hey, it's not right. I'm LTD. Give me everything for free. I'm just paying one time. 
All right. Now you want me to go close the door and just give it to you. All right. But, okay. <laughs> Here are the keys. <laughs> Feed the dog. Yeah. No, no, it's understandable. But hope. Yeah, that, I know. Hope people and I'm not understand it. Casting a wide brunch, uh, brush because people do. I mean, not everybody who buys an LTD. Yeah. Misunderstands. And the one thing who... that I can say. Okay, so talking, what kind of deal is pending, right? Right. So talking about the uh, multi, multi, that's actually like multi-use that's very generic. So we can just say, okay, whether you call it sub-accounts, many people like to call it sub-accounts. Some people mm -hmm. love to call it, uh, say, uh, virtual assistant. I kind of fall in love with this. Virtual yeah, assistant. That's kind sound, of neat. Sound really good. I like the virtual assistant. So what? What can happen? So basically we figure out, well, there is a such demand for this. Many people are saying, okay, I got a team to support. And I talk to people, they understand, they say, listen, I have a 30 people and I need now, and I have a, uh, I have a customer who gives us like a, an order. One, he pays for the whole thing. If there is no like separation for the articles. He says, okay, you drive me, let's say 20 articles a month. But he said, I got this, somebody working on SEO, somebody working on the writing, somebody doing research. Sometimes I put one person, another person, so I'm shifting them around. He said, right. all I need, I want to have that kind of ability to not uh, go in like, I uh, say, article by article level. So an article level that I was planning to do before, saying, okay, here is a client who wants to sell, buy the content. Here is a freelancer or writer who want to write the content. You put them together, here is a job, right? And But right. it's an article, level, it's simple, but not all, always it works the same way. So this is mm -hmm. a good, good scenario when somebody has a team of people, there is no like clear separation who gets what, how to pay this. So they just work right. on the one lump sum. Understandable. So I was thinking, how I can support this? So VA sound kind of really cool. That's a virtual assistant. So I can tell you how that would work. So basically, the uh, the person who is owning an account can invite few people, say one, two, three, whatever. I'm decided, okay, I'm going to do the like officially a breakdown up to 20. Right. And I'm going to create the buckets. Now, can I create like different uh, 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 different uh, pricing plans, which could be like growth one, growth two, growth three. That would be stupid, right? I mean, like, what? Yeah, it would be a lot of work. <laughs> and plus, and what for? Now, you, you're going to get confused. So the easiest way is I was just thinking, okay, you want the extra people, but here are your counts, which is actually line up with your functionalities and your limitations. Now, you just have an add-on, which is uh, your virtual assistants to work with your account. Now, how I can make sure those accounts, you can, okay, I can charge money fairly. Say, you invite one person. If I could just go by person, eh, right. it's kind of there. Somebody who gets many people gets huge bill. Somebody gets, uh, say, one, only one person gets maybe big bill if, or sm too small of the bill. So, it's kind of doesn't, sorry. So, I decided I'm going to break up in the different groups. Say one person maybe cost, say for, I don't know what's the, let's say I give you just a, a, a scenario. Say one person, if you hire one person, say 10 bucks a month, right? So, but let's say you hire maybe 20 persons, where maybe 50 bucks a month. Now, right. is everything in between. So now if you say, okay, you have a team up to five, maybe it's 20 bucks a month. You have a team up to say 10, maybe 30 bucks a month or something like 30 plus, right? Right. So, Somewhere in between, so we can parallel create some groups, and this is a dance. Okay, you have you have two three people, great. Okay, buy this a dance. Say here is additional thing. You charge in monthly. You can keep your lifetime deal. We're not gonna charge you for your growth plan or any kind of we want code plan. I was just thinking about assigning to the growth plan only. But then I say, okay, then I limiting those people. Not fair. Okay, yeah. somebody wants to have just one one code but at the same time have an ability one or two people to add who can help him and if they don't have it they miss out so i decide okay no i'm gonna do this on it doesn't matter what solar growth but not the free i'm sorry not the free for free right. we will not give any any <laughs> any any add-on add-on to for free not they done right 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 <laughs> so um so in an essence it's kind of I'm seeing uh, like some of my clients, I got a client, I have clients who use Slack, I have clients who use Asana, I have clients who use Monday, you know. You're gonna pay so, everywhere. I mean, you go in there. Yeah, and so see, they, the more people they have, have limits. The more pay. You know, Shopify, like I manage a Shopify site, or did, I don't do it right now, but you know, so they invite you to join and they have a certain limitation. 
So if they want to add more people to do more work, they buy exactly. more seats. Now, imagine this. Somebody is uh, running an agency of, let's say, somebody running just one person uh, doing the whole a whole show and all of a sudden now the person who has a growth plan also doing the like having uh, 20 people 30 people working for him and doing the writing stuff now are they gonna get all the free accounts why don't they give like one say uh no a done for free and then what okay let's hire a thousand people how about that and we're gonna, <laughs> have, uh, we're gonna have a thousand accounts for free oh no problem okay let's do that right so yeah. no 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 it's not, it doesn't work this way so basically it got, the users must be paid monthly so this is there is no other way so yeah. i just see myself if i, if I want to operate in the business that's the one thing i cannot do so basically we already discussed that so this is beyond i'm not saying right. i don't want to see this oh you gotta give me the, no i cannot and i don't i i don't have to and i will not so this is <laughs> that's a, right and no you can't make me yeah, you can't make me so <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't make me. So let's talk about how virtual assistants. So here we go. I've got the LTD plan. Yeah. And I come to you and I say, I need to buy five, a package of five virtual assistants. I don't know how you're going to break All it right. up. But let's say. So let's then say, how do those people work? How does yeah, that okay. work? Okay. So let's say you're buying the virtual assistant. Say you have an LTD account, right? Doesn't matter which which one, right? Right. Let's say, of course, we would like to have you, uh, I mean, for us, it doesn't matter. So you buy whatever plans you want. So just make sure you get the car because uh, many people ask how long you're going to sell LTD. I don't know. As soon as I have enough customers, I'm off. I'm out uh, because the LTD is a killing machine for the SS system. <laughs> so I want to be out as soon as I have a few thousand people and I'm run. I feel like I can do it. I'm, I'm out of LTD. Well, now I'm staying, but I don't know how fast going to be filling. Once I fill in, I plan my exit. And then it's going to be, and you are the one who actually keep the system uh, for free. I mean, for free. You paid once and you right. stay there forever using it. And I want you, say, to be my affiliates. So most of them are affiliates. So I will give some percentages uh, after the, the deal is over. I'm going to plan to move on to affiliate system and provide them the referral links and everything. Now, if you want to promote me, okay, bring me some people. You get paid forever. So I'm going to give the plan, say, whatever percentage will be. I'm going to take a percentage cut and I give it to the monthly buckets. You can bring me a thousand people. Now, let's say I give you the certain percentage of that. Every time those thousand people stay with me, you always get the, the, the percentage of that. Some people right. can make a living on it, basically, if they have, if they bring a lot of people. Yeah. So this is a plan. Now, if you go back to their, say, um, their, their virtual assistants. So you got five people, let's say you buying uh, monthly, you're not paying for the growth or solar anymore because you bought their, you bought their say LTD. Right. But you have to pay for their, uh, for this add on of this, how many users you want. Maybe today you want five, tomorrow maybe you want one or maybe upset today, tomorrow we want a 20. So the more users you want, the more payment will be, there will be prorated, whatever we set up now. But the thing is this, uh, when you get the five, so you can invite whoever you want. Let's say you invite it. We're going to set up in settings. You invite the user and we just send them email. The, the user show up. Now, when the user show up, it doesn't mean they're going to see everything you got. No, 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 no. So basically, they will have they will have that kind of in a waiting mode, waiting for you to share the specific, uh, say, folder. I decided I'm going to do in a folder approach, right? So... Uh, we will have the folder view where in each folder uh, you, you decide what they will give a folder name and give a specific folder uh, like a, a, a folder setup. So you're going to go in the folder and say, okay, this is a folder name and this is a notes. Why I create the folder? Maybe specifically for a specific client or right. maybe for a specific project. So you will create it for by the client's folder. Okay, give a name of your client. This is a folder for that client. Now you want those five people or say whatever, invite maybe two of them get to this folder so they will be able to do some work. So just assign them on a folder level. You say, okay, in this folder, I assign those two people. And now you allocate 10 articles or one article there, whatever you allocate, as soon as you assign the article, they immediately visible to them. And also cool. their system, well. they will see it through the folder view. They can see, okay, so many on this folder, so many, uh, uh, so many articles I have. Anyone more than that? That will be a level of, say, 
uh, you break down into three categories. I'm just thinking what categories will be. Let's say some users will be writers or editors or proofreaders. Right. Okay, you give them writer access. Then all writing access. Say, or some users will be just for research. Okay, you don't want to block. You want to block them off of the everything else. Just do them a research. Okay, give research access. And then they will just see the research and they see the topic. They can see the outline, but they cannot change anything. Or maybe you will not see your actual writing. They just simply do the research. Now, right. some people will be SEO optimizers, right? So you give, uh, you say, okay, now those people will be just for SEO. You give them SEO, but you don't want them to be uh, involved in the writing. So cut off the writing view, cut off their research, because every time they will use your resources. Because let's say they do the research, your research right. will be counted uh, because they're going to use your resources in that folder. So right. every time, every time if uh, but the publishing exporting will be totally out. So you, they cannot do the publishing exporting and anything. So that will be only in the owner's hands. So owner right. decide when to publish, what to export. Those people are not not the, the admins. You are the admin. You are the ones who export, publish, whatever you want. But right. they're the ones who actually do the assist you with the work. They actually, that's the work as assistance. So they assist you to write. They assist you to uh, to manage the content, or maybe they can assist you with uh, um, with the research or SEO optimization. So those three things are important, and I think I covered it all. Beyond that, this is it. I don't see anything beyond that. So this is how it's gonna work. Well, and that's a very. I mean, that is a a logical, very common approach to software. Levels of permission. You yep, got yep. the administrator, you've got a uh, person who might do some editing, uh, and everybody has different permissions. And, you know, sometimes I'm the administrator and I can go break something. Sometimes I'm a user and I can't break something. So, you know, that's <laughs> one question though. So I buy and I've got five people I, I'm stuck on five for some reason. Today. <laughs> no, no, that's good. That's good. It's like I got that many fingers here. So uh, maybe they come in and they they work on a few articles and they leave. So what's remove uh, them from the settings? That's all. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. You remove your pages for the month they are in, and then you say you 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 bring the people, but we cannot like interpolate. I mean, try to extrapolate. I mean, how say? Right, right. I mean, you uh, buy a block. No, no, X, and you, you only use half month, of it. Wait for the month, bring as many people, let's say, in the middle of the month, you disconnect them. Well, you paid already for the month. This is it. So you yep. might as well keep them through the month and then disconnect. But at the, every month, we're going to be like, okay, you got so many, You this is your package. Uh, you may not, let's say you disconnect the people and decide not to have anybody. We're not automatically switching. You need to actually really get in and say, okay, I'm switching to one account, one person account. Say maybe right. one, one VA, say, seat. Just click on that and switch it. Otherwise, you could get charged for five people seat. Or you get 20, now all of a sudden your team is smaller. You, you need to switch it to 10, 10, 10 uh, VA seats, right? So right. opposite. Now, you want to increase it. So you, you're the one that you ask for more. You try to bring more, tell you that you need to now change your, change your uh, plan. And you change that to add-on. You choose the different add-on. You upgrade it to 20. That's it. We start charging for 20. Uh, people, but you may, you may bring, uh, I mean, 11, that's up to you. You may bring 19, 15, 20. We just go with that particular, how many people up to allowed. Uh, you can right. go to one, I mean, if you want to, but unless you change it, we, we can, we do not know. So you need yeah, to. Yeah, we're still going to still bill for yeah. however many you've got. So, yeah, cool. Well, yeah. The, you know, that makes a lot of sense. I think it, uh, you know, we've talked about the applicability of this to uh, for agencies and things like that. This is perfect. But I think it opens up a lot of uh, opportunities. They just don't realize that there's so much opportunity now. You uh, you can actually get help and actually get the full control of the people who are uh, helping you. You bring them in. You don't need to. You don't need to pay them. Separate. Of course, if you hire them. 
I wish I could be like in the middle. Okay, you can go through me saying, okay, I want to pay this person. Yeah, we can do that and run through system through us. But well, in this case, you have your own team, you paint them somehow, we don't want to get in, but we'll give you the seats, which you just buy right. seats from us and then just bring your, your team there and let them work together on the content. And, hey, well, uh, you, uh, you have QuickBooks uh, integration software. Maybe you could package, uh, sell that. Would it work for pay? <laughs> Yeah, I got too many, too many software we didn't develop. <laughs> too much integration, uh, the eBay, uh, uh, FBA, the uh, Shopify, the uh, uh, Magenta, WooCommerce, BigCommerce. Oh, Lord. them all. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's a, a really intriguing idea. And, you know, did uh, we talked a little bit about software as a service and we're, oh, we got actually pretty good time here. So basically, <laughs> if I don't know anything about software as a service, yeah. And if I was going to sketch it out, I'd say, OK, here's the cloud like this. I should have a whiteboard or something, you know, uh, here's Actually, a cloud. It's, the capability. We just need next time we learn it, how to do the whiteboarding. Yeah, there you go. Absolutely. I saw that on one of the I was on a I think it was on WebEx. Uh, anyway, so you've got the cloud and that's your communications. Uh, now, here's you've got your computer here and the servers the computer that hosts the software that you're using sits here. Yeah. You log in, it sends down and gives you permission. It, you know, it recognizes your account, you start working. Yeah. Now, the beauty of that is that as you make changes at the server level, boom, when I log in again, I've got the latest and greatest. It's not like Windows where, oh crud, I've got to log in now, it's gonna update. And, you know, I can postpone it for a week, but, you know, yeah. so it's the onus to keep everything up and running is on you as the business provider, the service provider. I just access the service. So it's kind of cool, really. I mean, yeah. Uh, uh, and yeah, very hopefully, timely. Hopefully they recognize, I mean, this is, I think it's a really good idea. And I think, yeah, I'm not going to get really, uh, I mean, this is a, will work for me. Somebody wants that uh, team. Yeah, this is a good way of doing team. And at the same time, I was specifically told that don't give them any exporting capability, any any printing, exporting, any publishing. <laughs> so publishing clothes, the selling clothes, the the yep. all of this just simply pure uh, pure whiteboards. They will have an access to the different uh, a module, and they will see just what it's they can see. And uh, it's not meant to be for uh, like a reset client really because for client it's kind of you limiting the uh, you limiting the total capability if you bring the client just like that that doesn't work that way doesn't really look good but uh, if you are the client yourself and trying to bring that somebody that would work but the only one thing is now we are offering uh, uh, we are offering also our um, uh, the, the, the payout capability well we may miss out on that uh, because it's okay, but I'm just looking at okay, but we may pick up back what we will pick up back is the say ongoing subscriptions if they would like to get this team sign up, then they will have at least I get some uh, recuperate some money for whatever I'm losing in, uh, in uh, uh, say in this kind of relationship because for me it's important somebody put out the job and I will do the job market as well. So you right. job market, you say okay, I want to I want to say uh, call in and see who would be interested to write for me. I'm putting on the job market. Just do it with a couple of clicks and say, okay, here's my job. Who want to take it? I will pay so much. And here is a couple offers. Now, now I see, I want to just go with that one. I check his portfolio. Nice. Boom. And it's got, it started, started to work. So this is the future. And this is a right. future. I think that I want to go in that direction. I want to make this frictionless possible. Uh, the interaction between two parties. So, and going this, uh, uh, creating the team is uh, kind of in a step and still in this direction. Right. And then marketplace too. We've uh, got, you've got that coming up. Yeah. Marketplace, we will have a separate discussion. I'll show. Oh yeah. I, I think we should definitely. <laughs> Something else came to mind that I was going to ask about and uh, it, it went flying out the other ear. So I have to figure it went this side and came out that side. I think it's over there, but I don't uh, see it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that, uh, you know, this definitely adds value 
for somebody who is running a, a, a business. Now, I will compare this to, uh, let's say, I'm going to just pick Monday or Asana, either one. <laughs> uh, let's see, Slack, Asana, Monday. That's basically a but doesn't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter Ooh. where you look at. I mean, teams are usually, you pay premium for teams. Yeah. Everywhere. And, it doesn't matter. And then if you want to, but the, the thing about that is that once I get the, you know, write what I'm supposed to write, create what I'm supposed to create. Then I have to go back in and, you know, post it to these other sites. And, you know, so again, this is like the all in one. You've got Blogly where you can assign, you can create, you can research, you can, you know, yeah. interact with it. So this is like these management tools, but better. I mean, you can still manage people. It does maybe not as slickly as you can do the others, but you can communicate. Yeah, you can talk and yeah, there's you know, a inside. communication part involved because now that this uh, little thing that many people ask me was this red icon there. Why it's uh, it's like a sore thumb to them. They see this red icon in the editor. You know the one yeah. that we have, right? I say, what is this? <laughs> is this a paraphraser? I say, no, it's not a paraphrase. Yeah, click that... it and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but when they click what happened, it tells them that requires upgrade. And yeah, given because this one is the, the growth plan feature. Because yeah. this is the, exactly where the communication happened. Now, when you buy, when somebody buys this add-on, they will get this, uh, uh, this uh, red icon going to be working for them. So cool. you, can, you can start uh, creating the notes. Uh, you can actually utilize it as your own like small task manager. Uh, so you create the notes right on any blocks that you work. Uh, they are highly visible. They are highly, uh, you can uh, resolve them. Like uh, they're going to stay in two positions with the active result. So basically this is a, like a communication tool. There's a collaboration, right? Between, right. Uh, between multiple parties. So this is what it's designed for. And man, don't get confused with the paraphraser. Paraphraser is an asset side. You go on assets and you see room now, oh, by the way, Paraphraser with the first version is fully complete. Done, done. Now we. Oh, have, okay. I've been looking. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, <laughs> it actually works really cool. Actually, I could do the very quick uh, share. Um, yeah. Gonna... Well, let's do that. We've got. Uh, we're trying to keep these around forty-five minutes. So, yeah. How, what uh, is it? We're... We, we have no time right now. What is it right now? Yeah, it's we're thirty-three minutes into it. So thirty-three. Uh, we should keep it. Keep it. Uh... Uh, keep it small but actually let's do it like very quick so i mean do it for like three minutes so okay let me show let me share my screen so we can see stop that stop watch operating click <laughs> <laughs> wait i have to get my phone yeah let me share it so <laughs> let me go into my my account right so here's my uh my battery is critical so can you see this message uh, yeah oh dear <laughs> yeah it's okay if critical is not over yet hey uh, I'm going to be critical if I put everything on LTD. That's going to be critical. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's say I'm going here. This is my, my article, right? Right. So uh, this is why content important. And by the way, this is a real article which I published recently. So this is uh, uh, about the content marketing, why it's right. important. So there are notes here, right? Um, so, but let me... Uh, let me select, and by the way, this note, I was, I'm still surprised people don't get it that there, there's not only research in the Justin Research Docs. You can right. do the research very well just using our extension. Yeah, right. I use that all the time. I was, I told you the other day, or on uh, Monday, I yeah. did my first research document because I'm so used to using <laughs> the extension. Oh, oh, one word of advice. So I noticed that many people are saying, oh, why is I cannot log in? I cannot uh, sometimes rotating for too long. Well, I can tell right now, sometimes the 90% the, the, the of the time, the issue is when something is not uh, there, the authorization token just runs out. So uh, you need to okay. really like log out, log in. That will help. It clears out because Usually we run like automatically we kick it out from the system. It's no more than 24 hours. You should be there. Somebody keep the system running and then say for two days opening the same article and they try to uh, try to run the system. Of course, that it runs, runs, runs because authorization is dead. Right. Gotcha. So All right. Yeah. Paraphrase. Now paraphrase. So I'm showing in the actual life. Oh, OK, good. Now it's a small text here. I mean, small enough. Here is the paraphrase. Oh, I don't have the, the credits. here. Uh oh. <laughs> I need to buy credits. 
<laughs> well, how do we buy credits? Because I want to buy some credits. All right. Uh, well, but so, I don't want to. I, I don't want to run now my credit card over here because oh uh, no 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 you don't want to do that so <laughs> where did you click on to get to that I know we saw it the other day and I just forgot. yeah but uh, yeah oh by the way people ask okay how I can add the credits okay here's right here payment method says add right so right. you can just simply say okay add and once you add the credit card it magically show up gotcha so, here it is, you put the credit card in, just say, okay, we'll remember, but not we, Stripe, remember your credit card. We don't know, we don't want to know your credit card. So your credit card goes in into Stripe. So, but all you will see here is the ending of the last four digits here. So oh, you okay. know that. So your cool. credit card goes past, past directly to the Stripe. We don't want anyone to touch it. We don't see it. We don't even keep it on our server. So it's not in our database. Uh, so we totally let it, let the Stripe do, to do the work. Got so, it. Uh, yeah, when they when they buy it, so basically you go with this uh, kind of uh, breakups, right? So, uh, cool. so but so we can come, a... we can do the uh, paraphraser uh, next time if you want, because we're yeah, let's a... do the paraphraser next time. But actually, yeah. it's, that does actually works well, really well. I kind of like cool. it. It's actually uh, my my expectation it's actually exceeded my expectation because it actually does give us a, some interesting results. Like uh, you can actually switch it quickly there most unique and it shows you and then you can select the ones you want but we'll go over next time when i prepare the when i prepare some credits let me buy credits yeah it's like the uh, cobbler's kid do you know anybody who can give you a discount <laughs> yeah yeah no but I, I have to now pull my credit card and buy the credits for myself <laughs> yeah oh, okay. the life of the software developer right <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah there is no no discount for me cool all right. Well, that was very, the virtual assistance thing was very interesting. And uh, I think that's going to attract a lot of people. Uh, I think they'll be pleased with that. Yeah, I hope so. And besides, I'm okay to show everyone my, my mockups because I will have some, some design mockups and I can show how that looks uh, estimated so people can kind of guess it. If somebody watching it, give me your opinion. Say what you like, what you don't like. Uh, I am okay. I'm open to the, all the comments. Send me directly or oh, leave it on uh, YouTube. Doesn't matter because I'm going to post this on YouTube. All right. We're going to be movie stars pretty soon. Eh? Uh, that's it. <laughs> I bought some beer oil the other day, <laughs> so it looked good. Masters, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you ever watch that movie or the TV series Forged in Fire? I don't know if no, you've seen that. No. It's uh, great. It's these guys. They, Is this uh, the old timers? Old timers movie? No, no. They're, uh, they're four guys. Uh, one and they bring in four blacksmiths or knife makers and uh -huh. then they give them these incredible challenges they have to make knives or a sword or something like that anyway one of the guy who is the sword master has the great handlebar mustaches so uh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, just in time for halloween I need to grow mine i need to grow mine well, that's looking good <laughs> Uh, all right well let's let people uh let people uh first uh, to crunch the data there so if they like watching it great give us the, some feedback give us what you like what you don't like it doesn't i mean i'm totally open i'm open my development is open i'm saying what i'm doing and i'm not gonna hide anything i'm going all all in so if somebody give me give me the some tips and uh, whatever they want great i'm listening hey we should uh you uh, you should convert these into a uh, a class on how software as a service businesses run. Yeah, exactly. And but I named this as a well. I don't know if I'm a good runner or not. I mean, the so seven apps behind me. This is my eight app. I don't yep. know. Well, to the standards, I mean, I flopped this so many times. It's enough. I'm the one of flopping it anymore. So it's yeah. enough. So I'm well, just want to create the I, content, bring the bring the traffic, and I de develop something that people like, and I'm gonna put out there what I'm going to do. Well, Thomas Edison, uh, one of the most prolific inventors of all times, uh, failed hundreds of yeah, times know, more often than he succeeded. Uh, inventing the light bulb, right? Yeah. Can you hey, imagine if he stopped uh, like in the middle after 500 tries, uh, right? It was an yeah, <laughs> But one of the original Edison light bulbs is in a firehouse down in uh, the Los Angeles area, San Diego. Yeah. The light has been on continuously for over a hundred years and it's still burning. Holy shit. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So you can research it. Uh, wow. I think California 
firehouse longest light bulb that's got their own website and you can go in and look at the light bulb <laughs> well i see this light. but it's, uh, i kind of doubt i think they they they're sneaking out and replace it at night that's what i think <laughs> <laughs> could be all right keep, well on that happy just, note keep people curious oh where is the light bulb i haven't seen any bulb i mean how many bulbs are changed in the house i mean i tell you that there is a lifetime for everything Yes, there is. Well, yeah. but, but that, not for him, Suma. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gennady. Yeah, well, okay. I, we'll leave people with a chuckle, huh? <laughs> yes. And good information. So. Yeah, yeah. But in the good to say, yes. I understand. I get it. I'm myself. I'm a cheapskate myself. I want to really that there's some for, for one time deal. Five bucks would be even better. <laughs> <laughs> Give me oh. everything. I want 50% of the company for five bucks. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> okay. All right, Tom. Talk to you later. Yeah. Bye. Thanks, good Yeah. Bye.